The theory of cheap oil for the motorist. How does it work, or does it? Tumbling prices and a global glut, but not at the pumps. Percentage price drops have not been matched on the forecourts, leaving individuals and businesses reaping no big benefit from the oil market lows. I drive many kilometers each day to show clients' houses. You understand the more expensive petrol gets, the heavier my operating costs grow. I pay out more than 350 euros each month for petrol. And though I see that oil prices are getting lower, petrol is not. Petrol prices do react to the oil market. Oil lost 70% of its value in the last year and a half. For the same period, the fall in petrol prices in Greece, for example, has been just 20%. For every 100 euros a Greek driver pays at a petrol station, just 33 euros go to the oil industry, to the country and company of production, the refinery and distribution companies. The remaining 67 euros goes to the state. Fuel taxes in Greece are high, but not the highest in Europe. If you're driving in the EU, then the average tax you will pay on a litre is 66%. Topping the tax league is the UK at 72%. It is ready revenue for government coffers and easy, say analysts, to impose and collect. Traditionally, for many years, uh, taxes have been imposed in uh, European petrol industry uh, because it's easy for the governments to get uh, income. Bear in mind that across the Atlantic in USA, uh, prices at the pump for the consumer are one third. Will a tax level change in the EU? A commission official would only say it will present its winter 2016 forecast in early February, which will reflect the latest energy developments.